two high boys. Three. That makes about five of them here today. Hello, everybody. Live from the Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise in at the Loopy Tortilla Mexican Restaurant in Katy, Texas. It's the award-winning In Wheel Time Car Show. Just ahead, we talk to you folks out here, some of you cruisers with the cool cars. Uh, Jeff is going to review the 2016 Corvette pre-owned car of the week. We'll also get to this week's automotive news, Conrad's Car Clinic, and the stories making auto headlines this week, among other things, all on the In Wheel Time Car Show for Saturday, November 21st, 2020. Howdy along with Mike out of this world, Mars, King Conrad DeLong, Jeff Zekin, David Ainsley. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad that you could make it out to Tailpipes and Tacos. And if you are listening or watching this broadcast, hey, welcome. Well, we really appreciate you uh, joining us. And uh, welcome to all of the cruisers out here this morning as well. Yeah, it and is. if you're not here yet, you can still get in your car and get here because it goes on until about 11, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, yeah. 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 So, and if you're listening to a uh, to a podcast, which we record this show and uh, have podcasts available throughout the week in 30-minute chunks, uh, thank you for listening. We're going to have some great guests, I think, uh, coming up here. So, yeah, yeah I think it's the, uh, the what is that thing called? A slingshot. Sling, a slingshot. Slingshot with so real Mr. Mars, uh, who's our first guest? Yeah, it's how, really how, great. How did, it's really you, great how, to be. Back how did you? How, here. how did you do in uh, uh, getting a guest for us? Well, I got tied up with those speakers out there, and I didn't get one yet. You well, you know, there's there's our first one I right think, there with the gray shirt on. I think that's what we need to do. Okay. Well, on. why don't you go and do that? Because I don't think anybody really wants to listen to us. Uh, garbage on for the next three hours. Well, we can get Mr. Holt. Yes, we shall. Uh, he's, he's out there talking to Biff. Biff, by the way, has is it a 56 or 55 that he has? 55. Uh, the, is it a 55? 55, 210 post car. Okay. That's Gorgeous good. car. Please do. You got a gargle? Yeah. <laughs> or a gargoyle. <laughs> so Stan Holt, the uh, owner and proprietor of uh, many of the loopy tortillas in this area, and this one in particular out here uh, at the loopy tortilla Katie, uh, location. Katie, yeah, Katie location. And by the way, if uh, you're coming out here, we are on 99, the Grand Parkway at Kingsland, which is the last exit coming northbound on 99, just before you get to I-10. So, and if um, you're coming from I-10, take the service road of 99 to get to Kingsland. Don't come on I-10 and jump on 99 South because you'll you'll see us on the way by, but you can't get to us from there. It'll be another 10 yeah, minutes you, before you can, you you can, can turn wave, around. Yeah, yeah, we'll go down like <laughs> three miles and turn around and come back. Yeah. You know, one of the things that, there, that. one of the nice things I really do like about this this show is the the variety. Um, and uh, you know, there are uh, obviously a bunch of Stan's friends and and our friends that are here as well that we see at uh, many of the cruise ins, but. The nice thing about this one is that this draws from pretty much the west side of town. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's so nice to see um, a different... All the Westies come out? All the Westies come out. All the out. Westies <laughs> come out. Uh -huh. Well, you know, you, we just saw uh, uh, almost a fleet of three or four 32 high boys roll in. Gorgeous customized cars. A fleet. Well, I, what, what would you call I, uh, four of them hanging out together? A gaggle. Uh -huh. um, you know, and then... You got the brand new for, uh, 2004, 5, 2006 Ford GT. Just saw somebody drive in in a brand new Jaguar convertible. So I know, really do like of, that Impala SS. Yes. I, and I believe the back of that, I believe that's a 68 if I know the taillights correctly. So I'm assuming it's, uh, I would also assume it's an SS. I didn't go over there and get close enough to look at it. Well, I, Which I, means it could be a 427. It could be. 68. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a 68. <laughs> Fastback and pallet, gorgeous car. Yeah. Stan Holt, ladies and gentlemen, proprietor, Loopy Tortilla, Katy, Texas, founder of the Loopy Tortilla brand and oh, the it's name. Founder? I thought it was Flounder. I flounder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Didn't know. You guys have, have seafood too, right? <laughs> I do. I am so glad to be here this morning. We all are. I feel outside. And I know. Acting like everything's normal and yep. it feels wonderful lots of cars there's about eight spaces left y'all need to get in your whatever it is uh, bring your new car i don't care 
come on know. out. I didn't count. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to uh, out talk to you. Um, you could call me anytime. You don't have to meet me. Here. I know. I, I know <laughs> that. I he's do. Waiting on it, right? Yeah. yeah I got to wait till we get here. Oh, oh this is going to be fun. <laughs> yes, it is. <coughs> so I want to know about this uh, Lincoln that you brought today, out of the the Stan Holt collection, and uh, what a nice, sweet, all original, clean original car. paint, original. How car. many miles that thing got on? I turned ninety six hundred on the way over here. Oh, no, hundred. <laughs> it's 100. brand new. Ninety six hundred miles. How? What year is this? It's seventy eight. Mark it's a 70. Four? Mark 5. Mark 5. Mark 5. Yep. It's a gorgeous car. You know, that's that predates Mercedes. I mean, that's what used to park at country clubs, right? Oh, yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You probably know this story. Uh, that's a uh, an Iacocca deal. No. Yeah. I did not know that. They couldn't sell. Was he wor working at Ford then? Yes. At 78. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And, and uh, they couldn't sell the Thunderbirds. They wouldn't sell. And so Iacocca had the brainstorm. He said, well, let's put the Lincoln brand on it. Change the uh, opera window from a rectangle to an oval. Charge more for it. Charge more for it. And they were waiting in line for him. Make it more exclusive. Make it more exclusive. Well, plus just the Lincoln brand in itself carried well, a... Well, that, that's, that's, that's part of it. That's part of what makes it exclusive. But, you know, one of his philosophies was, and when he, like, he did the Mustang, the long hood and a short deck yep. made it look powerful. And so... That really fit the, the pistol. There's some louvers on the side. Today, of course, it'd be plastic, but they're actually made out of metal, and they're functioning vents on the, on the front. On the front sides, front yeah. The, front the gills. Yeah, the gills, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, Where did you find a car with 9,600 miles on it? I have it? another one. It's in the paint shop. It didn't have paint as nice as this. It's 13,500. Oh, my gosh. It's white. It, this fits you. Does it? It fits your Ray personality. It's... Uh, white with baby blue leather. Hey, I'm sunroof. Does it come with the hat and the feather to match? Everything. <laughs> it's all there. It was, yeah. the, it was in the back seat when I bought it. Actually, all I need to do is just bring my red pumps, and everything will be just perfect. Now you perfect. have to get blue pumps to match the car. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. I just redid the, the leather in it. It has. I probably shouldn't have. I'm going to sell this particular car, but it had that crushed uh, blue. Velour. Well, velour. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it is all about and me. shag rugs. Yeah. Shag carpet. On the on the ceiling? I didn't look. I didn't look up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling but that car just floats down the highway. Oh, I, I was gonna, that was my next question. How does it ride? Oh, what God. kind of motors it got in it? 78 can't be that many no, horsepower. It was, it was that. That was uh, 390? 460? 460. 460. Yeah. 460? Yeah. Oh, my God. It, it has everything, but it doesn't have T-Bird on the valve covers, but it's T-Bird drivetrain. I'll be. I had no clue. Yeah. I never. I never really actually uh, thought of the. I'm a big fan of his. I, I, I've read this book two or three times, and uh, I hated what they did to him in Fer Ford versus Ferrari. You know. Yeah. yeah. They, they, he didn't. He didn't look he well in that. No, he didn't. He didn't. He was a really uh, like a DeLorean. You know, he was uh, that just born car guy. You know. Well, but he, he could do things. He could make the companies and get the companies to follow things. He John kind of got out there. Or yeah, well, he, he snuck the GTO in. They didn't want to build the right. GTO. That's right. It was a Tempest T-something. T-37. T-37. Right. And they put a a put the 389, 389 with tri-power. Mm -hmm. And he snuck it through the most iconic muscle car in the history of cars. And started the the, the intermediate-sized muscle car craze. Because, you know, he came out with the GTO, which was shortly after that, followed by... Chevy with the SS uh, Malibu uh, Chevelle, Chevelle. Yeah. and then Oldsmobile with in '64 si when the GTO came out, Oldsmobile came out with the police package and called it a 442. But yeah, DeLorean led the field in doing that. Uh, my first race car was a DeLorean uh, design, and it was a Tempest with a single overhead cam six cylinder. The slant, it kind of a slanted six, wasn't it? No, it was, it's upright, but it uh, it's overhead cam. And uh, had a uh, quadrajet called a Sprint, and I was out yeah. running. I was out running like three fifties, you know, V eights on the. Because it had all the torque. Uh, torque, yeah. And it, it would you could sh it it wouldn't redline. It just I guess it'd go until it blew up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't you didn't blow it up. No, I didn't blow. I was actually took it off the front line of the dealership. The dealer let me uh, uh, drive it to the racetrack. Straight S to the racetrack. Go to the racetrack. I won every race but one in that car. Cute story. 
Did you actually buy the car? No, I was wa- <laughs> I was washing cars. <laughs> it's test driving. I was washing track. I was washing cars, and you wash them on the line. And back in that day, it had right? a, a bucket with a ringer and so forth. Yeah. But if they're really dirty, you take it back to the wash rack. Yeah. Well, this car looked really dirty, so I went to the <laughs> corner, made it right, and then half a block, you turn into the in the body shop in the wash rack. I pulled second and just kept going. <laughs> so I, ca- I came back, and Mr. Bryant just just took a shine to me for some reason, you know. And, and uh, he had a great kid who's the youngest one of the youngest guys to ever be an admiral in the navy. Went to West Point. He was a brilliant kid, then like myself. So I said, Mr. Bryant, there's a car out there. I'd like to race it. He said, What do you mean race it? And I said, Go to the drag strip. We go to Irwindale and Lyons, Orange County. There were, you know, 40 minutes uh, circumference. There was a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah five drag strips. He said, I, I guess so, you know. <laughs> and he said, go ask your mom. If it's okay with your mom, then I'll, okay. So I went across the street to Winchell's Donuts, got a donut and a Coke, and came <laughs> back and said, she said fine. <laughs> 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 Bought me a donut and a Coke to celebrate, so too. As they say, I was off to the races. Now you're all sugared up going uh, to the track. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I raced it every Saturday, every Saturday. And, wow. and it stayed on the, on the new car showroom lot? No, 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 no. We made it a race car. We built a header for it. You wouldn't let me change the gear, but uh, uh, Ted Block across the street sold MGs, Cobras, uh, Mini Coopers, and so forth. He was a racer. What so city was this? Covina, California. Covina. Okay. Move right. that microphone a little closer. Covina, not West Covina, just Covina. Covina, right. West Covina got all the, all the ink. We, we were like, who cares about Covina? But <laughs> it was a wealthier, you know, more affluent uh, side of the freeway. But, uh, oh, I had fun with that car. And, you know, the the, uh, the walk of shame was you had your number. Everybody's numbers was in shoe polish, real shoe right. polish. Right, right. And when you get went to get your time ticket, if you lost, this girl would scrub your number off. You drove home with the number. Mm-hmm. If you with won, it, with it, you with it washed. Fuzzed down. Kind of half yeah, off. It was yeah, on. Okay. Yeah, I can't count the times I pulled over off the side of the road and put that number back <laughs> on the drive home. <laughs> Because everybody knew. <laughs> everybody knew. Well, you go straight to Bob's in West Covina. Bob's Big Bob's Boy. Big Boy. Because that was the, our big cruising spot. And uh, sometimes you'd wait in line in the street for half hour, 45 minutes, just to get your turn to drive through the parking lot. This is so the new Bob's Big Boy. Yeah. yeah, Bob's Big Boy. Yeah. But it was, you know, that was just the hangout for everybody in, in high school. But yeah. So that was my introduction to drag racing. So w- and you were probably the only one driving an inline six cylinder through I there. Was. I was the only one, uh, and the announcer would actually announce the car when it came in, and he named it the Jaw Dropper. Nobody expected that little six cylinder oh. to be as fast as it was. And back then, you know, you didn't handicap like we do today. I was in I stock. Just heads up. Yeah, whoever had the most money won. That was the way it was. That's why they started handicapping. It's kind of that way today, too. Yeah, yeah, it's still that way, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I like that rule. I think it's great. That is a great (laughs) rule. That's right. Yeah. What year was that? 50? That was a 66. Six. Yep, 66. Yeah, they ended up putting that Sprint motor in the Firebird as well for a year or two. I'm glad you brought that up. I found, I looked for over two years, and I found a 69 uh, Sprint, three speed on the floor, Factory three speed. It has ninety nine thousand miles on it, and that's that uh, that lovely olive, turd muckley mm-hmm. green with a black vinyl top. So the interior is all finished, and uh, it's ready to go to paint. The engine's out, and uh, it the engine. My crew chief has it, and he's rebuilding it, and and uh, it had a, a a quadrajet, but it was that quadrajet was built for that car because it goes on sideways. Right. And uh, the strange linkage and so forth that it has. But we tried it with another uh, new car jet that just wouldn't breathe, you know. So anyway, we're rebuilding that car. So I'm, lo- I'm looking for it. That's a valuable car. Those things are really sought after. They didn't make that many. They no. weren't that popular. Well, and, uh, yeah, because in those days, nobody wanted the six-cylinder, no. even though, Delo- you know, DeLorean and Pontiac were playing with a, a very high-performance six-cylinder. Well, he was competing. You know, foreign cars were really getting popular. You know, MGs and... Uh, triumphs. triumphs and all that stuff was, was really getting popular. And he wanted to compete with the Europeans. And he said, well, you're going to have to get gas mileage and go fast. And that was his theory. You could get a two-barrel model, you know, if you wanted to. Oh, you could? Yeah. I actually have both engines. I found an, another engine uh, complete. And uh, I thought I did that because I thought parts are going to be hard to find. It, it, it's Chevy. Uh, everything but the head is Chevy. It's a she- regular uh, Chevy 250. Chevy 250. Right. Yeah. So parts are... Plentiful, you know. Yeah, easy to get. 
but I'm excited about getting it on the road. It, it's uh, I haven't really. I thought about making a, a race car out of it, and I thought, no, it's that's too special a car. I think the car is going to be worth north of eighty thousand when it's finished. Oh wow! Oh, wow! What yeah. is your favorite car in your collection? Our '65 Volkswagen Beetle. Mm -hmm. Why? A uh, little romance behind that car. Sheila had never seen it in Northern Coast or wine country. So I shipped the tri a TR3 to Santa Barbara. We spent a week there tooling around town. When I got on the freeway headed north, you get up to 60 miles an hour and fall on its nose. Pull off the freeway to run. And the freeway to die. I went, what the heck? So I took it to the shop. Actually, a Mexican guy had grown up working for a British guy on British cars. So he had this heavy accent but he knew all about these British cars. We worked on it from noon till almost 10 at night and couldn't get it going. So Sheila went to the airport, rented a car. I paid for all the hotels in advance. So we went on to San Luis Obispo, and there was an expert there on Triumphs, British cars. And he was at lunch, and he had all these cool cars in there. And this one was sitting in his shop, kind of a showroom of his shop, and had those little orange and black for sale signs on it. Right. And I, I said, how much? And he told me. He said, uh, Will you take American Express? He said, yeah. So I bought the Sheila. Wait, wait, well, you hadn't even driven us. I don't need to drive this car. Look at the headliner. I mean, it's just tight <laughs> as a drum. And I said, no. He said, actually, ma'am, he's right. I helped restore this car. So we finished the trip in that car. In the Volkswagen? Yeah. And guess what was wrong with the Triumph? The guy said, a certain political group has taken all the zinc out of our oil. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's rounded off the load to the cam. The fuel pump runs on camshaft. Oh, right. Is that going to replace the cam? He said, no, you put a $79 electric fuel pump on it. Oh. <laughs> Told me that after a credit card had cleared. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, finished yeah. the trip, and so that's why it's our favorite car. It was, uh, you know. You didn't th drive it all the way back. No, no, shipped yeah, them both back. Uh -huh. But I'm really low-tech. Uh, that's not, that's way too nice that I'm low-tech. Turned on the radio, and it's real tinny sounding, one speaker, you know. That sucks. And so Sheila said, well, wait a minute, wait. So she boom, gets the right speaker, comes on. And says, wow, that's been, boop, back speakers come on. I said, man, that sounds, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bass comes on. And she puts it on her uh, iPad. And we're rolling down Coast Highway on that beautiful bridge. We can see forever across yeah, the yeah. Long right. uh Playing Can Heat on the road. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> I said, I don't know. Would you like me to sing that right now I for you? I don't know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> but thanks for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That completely don't ruined ruin the thought. It. Don't yeah. ruin it for Would you. like that to remain our favorite <laughs> car. So. And, and, we got, and we, cool, we got all the stickers, you know, a Big Sur, all the travel stickers. Did you get those yeah. and put them on put there? Put them on the car. Yeah. That is so cool. I know. And, uh, I even uh, uh, had some Huntington Beach stickers that I found in a toolbox and put those on there. And uh, you'll like this story. Wake up in Big Sur. We stayed there three days. It was so beautiful. I'm an early riser. She likes to sleep, you know, a little longer. And uh, they had these little logs in a bag. And you put the logs on the fire from just light the whole bag. So I lit a fire, you know. I'm over on her iPad. She goes, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm looking at porn. She goes, what kind of car is it? <laughs> <laughs> she knew. She said, what are you doing? I said, I'm ordering Porsche wheels for that Volkswagen. She said, can't wait till we get home. I said, no, I want them waiting on me when I get home. I don't want to sit there. So they were on the dock when I got home. We put the Porsche wheels, put an awesome exhaust system. Not that old goofy stinger thing, but two big pipes this big yeah. out the back. It has two carburetors. It's twin carburetors. Kind of a poor man's Porsche. And it yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it was already lowered two inches. And you, you, those hills in Northern California, this thing, you just accelerate right up. And we had a ball driving that car. How so much fun is that? And that thing holds a lot. We had a duffel bag we put in the back seat. Yeah. And it fit exactly in the back seat, army green duffel bag. And so the first place we went the next uh, was in the um, second place. second night we spent in um, uh, Half Moon Bay at, yep. a, at a Ritz-Carlton. A beautiful suite at the Ritz Carlton. I'd roll in, and there's all these Ferraris and Lamborghinis and <laughs> Bentleys and stuff, and they're all parked in this semicircle out front. You roll up in the Beetle. I roll up in the Beetles. Hand crank sunroof open. <laughs> these valets, these guys are, you know, they're, they're surfing at the d in the day and parking cars in the evening. Oh, yeah. I'm running out like three of them. I want to park. I want to park. He said, oh, dude, dude, <laughs> this is awesome. I said, you dude. know, I don't think it's appropriate to call a Ritz Carlton guest dude. But I dude. Get it. 
So they park it. We get up in the morning. But you proudly took that title. I <laughs> did take the title. We that's, get up in the morning. Mr. Dude to you. <laughs> get up in the morning, look out there, and there's Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and that VW is parked right, right in the middle of them. <laughs> <laughs> so he proudly pulled it up in front, you know, and we drove off from the Ritz Carlton and the VW Road. Oh, uh, the real point of that story was they were getting the duffel bag out, and I made the comment, please be careful with Grandma. She really wanted oh to God. come on this trip. <laughs> 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 so that was Grandma the rest of the trip. Right. It felt like a body in yeah. that bag. The eyes got big yeah, and going, oh, Lord. Oh, crap. Aunt Edna. This yeah. is, yeah. Ca- this is <laughs> California. Anything's Edna, possible. That? Put her on the luggage yeah. track. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway, that's well, why it's our favorite car. Well, we love this, and we're so glad that everybody's back. I am and, so glad uh, to be it's back. It's an outdoor event and uh, social yes. distancing and, uh, you know, tacos. Coffee, coffee, mimosas, bloody, bloody marys. marys. It's yeah. all it's all here. I always have to give a shout out to my boys, the Emmons boys. Yeah, uh, they're they're uh, you avid, know, we, avid listeners. In, well, yes, uh, and, and we we had probably one of the best interviews with Jerry uh, not that long ago. <clears throat> and so, of course, you know, we we do phone interviews now. It's Zoom interviews. Oh, nice. So oh. he's sitting, I guess, at the office. That's what it looked yeah, like. He was and. <coughs> you know, we were talking about NHRA drag probably racing. Probably a topless bar. Yeah, that's probably. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. So we, we, we were talking about drag racing and uh, all of the different divisions that he races in and that sort of thing. And we were talking about his big wins this year. Oh, they had a heck of a year. Yeah. And yeah. so as we're talking and we're watching him, all of a sudden, Wally's. Go start start adding showing up behind sh- him showing up and they keep sliding <laughs> further on down behind his head. It was the most hysterical thing that we'd ever seen. So at any rate, the Emmons boys, yes, we yeah, love them. Yeah, uh, I had a great race with Gary this year, and I triple zero. Oh. You didn't dropped a bag of donuts on, on Gary. Holt. Get down there. He was the faster car. I, I catch him it right was like just past the eighth mile. Well, my car is a five speed now. And everybody thinks I'm done. I hit fifth gear, and this thing jumps out in the front. It wouldn't go into fifth gear. Oh, oh no. Lord! It deadheaded. It, it does one. It's out of 200 shifts. It'll happen. You just those big gnarly it's gears hit yeah, right the in the synchros middle. Just don't heat he up. Said, what happened? I thought you were dropping me, or something. I said no. It wouldn't go into gear. He said that was. I feel terrible. That was your waste. It was oh. your waste. And well, Stan, thanks for inviting us. We really, really appreciate uh, us coming out oh, here. I'm so glad to be back. It's yeah, just great. We are too. We've got uh, some uh, cruisers that are going to be our guests later on. Maybe we can catch you uh, before everybody leaves I'd at 11 to. o'clock. Okay. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you oh, very thanks much. Thanks for having us. You're the cherry on top of this whole deal. Thank you, man. Oh, we, boy. we appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. Uh, Stan Holt uh, with Loopy Tortilla, uh, our guest. And uh, it, it, it's a great yeah. day out here, a great, great morning for a cruise in. And as uh, Stan mentioned, you know, breakfast tacos, mimosas, Bloody Marys, uh, a lot of uh, looking at cars, and uh, it's going to be a great day. So, at any rate, uh, it's time now for our pre-owned car of the week. And uh, Mr. Mr. Zekin is over here scratching his face going, I'm not exactly sure what I need to do. But I think what he needs to do is uh, come sit down and actually – Give us the info on his 2016. We're just going to sit here and tap our foot and wait for you. Uh, is that okay? Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm doing business. What kind of business? I'm doing business. You're doing some, business? doing some business? So the 2016 pre-owned Corvette. Yes. Um, you know, I'd like to have a 2016, but I, I, I am very happy with my 2001 well, I'm doing this because there's a very good friend of mine that owns a Corvette. So that's why I'm doing this. Thank you. For yeah. me. Yeah. Do Thank you. Just Thank just oh, is just it Don? For, just for you. Uh, oh, uh, thanks so much. Just Ray you. Ray really appreciates it. So it is the 2017 Corvette. I thought it was 16. Um, 17. Uh, 17. Okay, well, uh, my mistake. It's all right. Change that. Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't my mistake. It's a 17. Okay. Uh, this particular, uh, the trim levels on this are Z, um, Z51. We got a Z06 and of course the Stingray. Those are the, the trim levels of, of, of the Corvette. Uh, we're doing the Z51. It is a sports car. We all know that. There's some here at the show. Uh, the exterior features on this vehicle are the uh, exterior package, the appearance package. Uh, you've got ventilated disc brakes. The, the, the rotors are ventilated. You've got stability control. 19.85, uh, 19 by 8, 8.5. 
front wheels, and then you've got uh, the 20 by 10 in the back. Yeah, the, the, the rear tires look like 55-gallon drums. Right, on the, they're on the staggered ground. fit, obviously. Uh, interior on this, you've got uh, H HID headlights. You've got a head-up display, uh, heated seats. You've got the steering wheel controls, all the paddles and things on this. Um, paddle shifters. You've got touchscreen satellite radio with 10 speakers. Is this an automatic? This particular one is. But yeah, you, with you have the features. Shifters. You get the paddle shifters. Uh, and, of course, you've got the nav on the radio for the radio. Uh, you got body colors. Uh, you got the dual roofs. And something on yours, Don, you've got that one solid roof. Yeah. And well, you can get it in the solid roof that's painted, or you can get it cleared. I actually have both roofs. Right. And it, and that's that's what I thought too, because you have that storage area in the back where you lift up the the yeah. hatch and clip it all in there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you got the body mark, uh, body side markers. You've got scoops and decals and things that you can put on it and dress it up and look fancy. Did this one have the uh, carbon fiber splitters on it? No, it did not. Those are uh, about Very a $1,500 option. Mm -hmm. Well, they're they new. But they are yeah. way ex more expensive to replace when you dent one or scratch one you on the curb. Yeah, I don't think you dent or scratch those. They, they just break, break them. Just, yeah, yeah, well, and they're, you know, they're $1,500 a piece. I, uh, I've been involved with a few people who had them put up on a lift, and when they put them up on the lift, they, uh, they tore them up. Go ahead. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this, uh, the engine is 6.2 V8, uh, variable timing. Uh, of course, Conrad knows that. Horsepower is 460 uh, uh, 460 horsepower at 6,000 RPMs. 465 of the uh, torque mm -hmm. at 4,600 in the Newton meters. <laughs> of course, uh, you've, got, you've got a seven-speed manual. Uh, you've got an eight-speed paddle shift automatic as well. 17 miles per gallon in the city, a 29 highway, average out about 20, 21, depending on what kind of foot you got to put in it. But you can get that 29 or 30 on the highway right. with that car. Just don't let Mike drive it. Well, but you just set the cruise in, in, Mine top, I get 25. <laughs> in top gear, and you you can easily see that kind of fuel yeah, mileage in, in almost a 500-horsepower car. Yeah, I've got oh. a seven-year-old Cadillac that's getting 20, 21, you know, and it's maintained regularly. So if you maintain them. You'll, you'll have that uh, capability of getting that mileage. Right. Um, so you've got a magnetic ride control. you got traction control. This particular vehicle had uh, 20,341 miles on it. And uh, price as tested, 64,855. Of course, we all know that they're... That they're was new. That was new. No, th this one right now is 64,855. Ooh. Why? Ooh. It's a 17, and it's got low miles. That's and it's a Z1, Z51. Z51. Yeah. So that's you got the sports end of it. That's it holding. A, it's that's a three year old car. It's, it's, it absolutely is. That's holding. Now, value. if you get into like a Lingenfelter and things of that nature and all oh, the, oh other, yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna. You I know. was hoping that you were gonna give me some really staggering number, like you know, it, it's only thirty thousand dollars. I wish I could. Well, I can give you that, but it won't be right. I know. And we, we know <laughs> that you are you're the, the truth teller. Well, the, the, truth the interesting teller. thing about that is the ma magnetic ride control, which I believe is part of the Z51 package. Mm -hmm. um, Again, is a is a pretty special piece that General Motors licenses and sells mm -hmm. to Ferrari. Right. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, sir. You bet. All right. Uh, time now to take a uh, gander at the national events calendar. Well, there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, oh of uh, national or national motorsports events going on. Uh, IndyCar is finished. Uh, Formula One still got a couple of events, and uh, next weekend they're going to be at the Bahrain. This is racing you're talking racing. about. Racing, okay. Yeah. At the Bahrain uh, International Circuit, uh, and uh, Chase, like I said, uh, Chase Elliott won the NASCAR Cup. Uh, IMSA finished th last weekend with Sebring. I guess everybody's pretty much done. Here we are, you know, the right. week before Thanksgiving, and uh, uh, yeah, th yeah. The the only one, the only real major, I think, that still has a couple of events is uh, is Formula One because they really took off for quite a long period of time and they're still trying to get in all 18 of their events and then uh, IMSA finished uh, last weekend Acura won the prototype challenge and then a uh, Corvette won its umpteenth uh, GTLM cha GTLM championship and uh, with that um, uh, they're going to change drivers they're bringing a Porsche driver in this year for next year, for uh, uh, Nick Tandy, who's been driving Porsches all his life, I was kind of hoping they were going to bring in Alec Udell. Well, <laughs> there's always hope. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to have another guest. So we invite you to stay tuned. You're listening to or watching the In Wheel Time Car Show, and we appreciate that. We're coming to you live today 
from Tailpipes and Tacos at the Loopy Tortilla out here in Katy. If uh, you happen to be watching our live stream, uh, please come on out. We'd love to see you. We'll be right back. Texas Truck Works is your go-to truck customizer. From mild-to-wild lift kits, custom wheels, and steering and handling enhancements to the best personal and commercial wraps, Texas Truck Works delivers. Let Texas Truck Works founder Scott Stevens help you get the most out of your truck or Jeep. Texas Truck Works has decades of customizing experience, including power adders and complete engine swaps. Let the Texas Truck Works team design an upgrade plan that fits your budget. Get truck attitude today at TexasTruckWorks.com. 